In this tutorial, I'm going to explain something that is important to understand when programming, and that is the difference between a reference type and a value type. So, to get started, let's create a new class in the default package by right-clicking, selecting New Class, and I'm going to name the class Reference and Value Types, and click Finish. And let's create our main method by typing the word main, pressing control space bar, and hitting enter. I'll start off by explaining a value type. Now, all the primitive types in Java are value types, and they include byte, short, int, long, float, double, boolean, and car. Anytime you're using a variable that is of any of these types, you're using a value type and any time you're using a variable that is of a different type, such as string or person or jlabel, you're using what's called a reference type. Now I'm going to try to explain what the difference is. Say you create an integer variable named x. You could think of something like this happening in memory. You get this box, and you call the box x. And now you could say something like x equals 5, and that would be putting the value 5 inside of the box. So this is a value type. Now, if you're going to be passing x around, say you're going to give it to a method, and you want your method to do something with that value, what you're actually passing is the value 5. You are not passing the variable x containing 5. You are only passing the value 5. So as an example, Let's say we have int x equals 5. And now, let's create a method that will expect an integer and see what happens when we try to change that value. So let's say static void add 1 to int number. And inside of the method we'll say number equals number plus 1. And now we'll call that method using our x variable we'll say add 1 to x. And now we'll print out the value of x. And what do you think it should be? Well, let's run it and see. We'll see that the value printed out is 5. So what happened here is because integer is a value type, we're not passing the x variable in, so we're not actually operating on that variable here. We're operating on the value of that variable, which is 5. Now, reference types are different. When you create a reference type, let's say following the example from our last tutorial, we create a person named John. So we have this variable of type person called John, which would look like, let's say, person John. Now, what happens when we say John equals new person. Well, when you create an object, when you call a constructor with the keyword new, you create that object somewhere off in memory. So let's say we're creating our person object, and this is what it looks like. Person and what new person actually returns to you isn't the object itself, but it actually returns the address in memory where this object exists. So what our John variable actually contains is a reference to our newly created person object. So when we call a method and pass in a reference type, like John, the value that we're actually passing is an address that takes us to the object, which means we can actually change the object itself. Now this is the big thing to understand. When we pass a value type, we're passing this 5, which means essentially we're passing a copy of the value. When we pass the reference type, we're passing a reference that takes us to the object, which means that we are able to manipulate the object itself so, as an example in code, let's create a method that takes our John variable 
let's say first we'll set John's age to 20 and now we'll create a method called celebrate birthday of John and we'll let Eclipse create that method for us and now inside celebrate birthday we're going to say John dot set age John dot get age plus one so we're setting John's age to John's current age plus one and now if we were to print out the value of John dot get age and run the application we'll see that John is now 21 years old in other words we were able to manipulate the values inside of the John object because what we're passing is a reference to that object. So hopefully you're kind of getting it. Here we're creating int x, which creates that box. We're putting the value 5 inside of that box. And here we're adding one to x. But because x is a value type, we're simply passing the value 5 into that method. So x remains unchanged. Where in this case, we're creating a person john, which is reference type. And we're assigning to that box in memory a reference to a new person object and we are passing that reference to the object into our celebrate birthday method and inside of that method we're passing it a reference to a person and we're using that reference to change the values inside of the object so let's change 5 back to x and we should probably put in some comments so when we call this method we're passing a value type so we pass a copy of the value of x, which is 5. And inside of the add one to method, we manipulate a copy of the value passed. And here, we are creating a new person object and assigning John to refer to it. And here we're passing that reference to a method. So the method can use that reference to manipulate the object. So now you should understand the difference between a reference type and a value type. Thanks for watching.